Hey there, my name is Julian and welcome to MemberScript 108. And have you ever been wanting to make a submit button on your Webflow form look better, but you just can't, you only really have the opportunity to change the class of it, so change the styles and to change the text. If you wanna actually add anything inside of it, then you can't do that. Along with that, let's say you wanna have the submit button on the other side of the page, whatever it is that you want to do. The point is you want to get funky with your submit buttons and you can't because Webflow doesn't let you. The point of this script is to solve that. So here is an example first, and it's a very simple one. All it is is a sign up form and there's an icon in the submit button. So let's go ahead and try that out right now with some fake test data and let's click this. So as you probably know, if you're watching this, if this was a normal Webflow submit button, then it could not have an icon in it because you can't actually add anything inside of it. So anyways, let's go ahead and click create your account. And as you can see, it created my account, did exactly what it's supposed to do. That'll work with member stack forms. That'll work with a standard Webflow form. Should work with any form because in the back, all it's doing is keeping your submit button. And then when you click your fake submit button, it's going to click the real one. So now let's go into Webflow and I'll show you how to actually set that up. So here we are and the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get the script for MemberScript 108, which is on the MemberScript section of the MemberStack site. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then there should be a link in the description. If not, you're probably watching it from the page on our site anyways. So anyways, just get this, copy it and paste it onto whatever page it is that you want this to work. Then all you need to do is add two attributes. First things first, you have your old submit button. So as we can see here, we have a submit button and I just have it set to hide. This is the real Webflow submit button, as you can see here. And it has the attribute ms-code-submit-old equals one in this case. And I'll show you more about that in just a second. Let's set this back to hidden. And then our new submit button that we've created, which in this case is just a link block with text and an icon in it. This has the attribute ms-code-submit-new equals one. Now, if you're wondering about that one, all we're doing is using the value to match it up. And the reason for that is because maybe you have multiple forms on the same page that you want to submit. Let's say you had one here and one here. All you would need to do is make it so that form one has the attribute value of one with these attributes and form two has an attribute value of two. This doesn't just need to be a number. It can be a word. It can be a phrase. It can be whatever it is that you want, as long as the old and the new are matching. So that's it. That's how you make it work. Um, if you have any issues or questions, let me know in the 2.0 Slack in the member scripts chat channel. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day. Bye.